Hi, my name's Ian Savage. I work for Gilbert Rugby. Uh, my role here is R&D engineer, so I look after product development for rugby balls, everything from trim designs through to grip patterns and all the technology that goes within the balls. The developments take the form of various different things from pimple patterns through to the type of bladder that we use inside the ball or the backing material that holds the ball shape. And all of those combined um, allow us to develop balls that have a really good balance between the aerodynamics, playability and things like distance and accuracy to provide a good option at, at many different levels. This is the Innovo match ball and it's used by all of our elite level teams, whether that's uh, tier one international teams all the way through to tier one competitions. Basically anywhere where there's elite rugby, you'll find the Innovo match ball. So the Innovo match ball features the hypernova grip pattern. This is a dual height star shaped pimple, which gives the ultimate in grip performance whilst balancing the aerodynamics required for the ball to perform at an elite level. The Innovo features the copolymer bladder and also the dual valve system. The, the bladder helps maintain air retention during play and the valve actually helps the ball to rotate as it's being kicked and it also allows for a seamless transition between the Innovo ball through to the Gilbert Sportable Smart Ball. So the compound for the Innovo is completely unique. It has some water repellent features, it also has a slight tachyfier within it and it's what helps the ball become very grippy in almost every circumstance. So the Innovo ball is one of the balls within the range that is pre-kicked and that de-stresses the seams uh, where the ball has been stitched together. That allows the ball to find its proper shape more quickly when it's been first inflated and the benefits of that are that the shape of the ball is more consistent uh, as soon as you inflate it. So you're going to get a consistent performance straight out of the bag. So this is our Connecticut and Barbarian 2.0. These balls are really suited for high level club rugby or high level school rugby. The differences between these balls is really the grip pattern that's used on them. So we have a very durable and consistent round shaped pimple on the Barbarian and we've got a really high performance um, star shaped dual height pimple on the Connecticut. The Barbarian's all about durability um, whilst maintaining good levels of performance. However, the Kinetica excels, especially in really wet conditions because of that extra grip. Both these balls feature the ellipse valve and the copolymer bladder. So that gives really good air retention so you don't have to keep on inflating balls. And the ellipse valve helps the ball rotate and stay on target when kicked at goals. Both the Barbarian 2.0 and the Kinetica feature the same surface compound, which provides a good balance between durability and performance. So we've got the Atom and the Amiga ball here. Uh, they're suitable from uh, a nice range between mid-level club and school rugby uh, all the way down to entry-level rugby. Both the Atom and Amiga match balls feature the Gilbert standard pimple pattern. So that's our round pimple, which gives a really good balance between durability uh, and aerodynamics and also grip. So the Atom ball gives a slightly higher level of accuracy and is a little bit more forgiving when it's kicked because it's got a slightly different backing material in, in comparison to the Amiga. So the Amiga is all about shape retention. It's going to last a long time. It's going to be something that will be very similar from the start of the season to the end of the season. Whereas the Atom gives you a little bit more performance when you kick it. So you get a little bit more uh, distance and, and a little bit more accuracy from that type of play. The Amiga and the Atom feature the same rubber compound uh, on the surface of the balls. This means that they have a good level of durability and will, will last um, every club a decent amount of time. These two balls are within our specialist match ball range. Here we have the Quantum, which is a seven specialist ball. And here's the Pro Touch, which as the name would suggest is suitable for touch rugby. So the Quantum Ball features quite a few of the performance traits and performance characteristics of the Connecticut Ball. Um, very similar uh, surface compound and, and features the same pimple pattern and the same uh, bladder technology. Um, the compound gives you slightly more grip, which is really ideal for sevens rugby. The Pro Touch is a specific touch size shape, so it's slightly smaller than a size 5 that allows for 
uh, players with different hand sizes to be able to catch and pass um, really easily. Features a high level uh, surface pimple because there's no kicking within the game. So we don't have to worry about aerodynamics and the type of pimple actually improves the grip that the ball has, making it really suitable for touch. There's quite a large difference between the Innovo and the Amiga at each end of the match ball spectrum. The Innovo is built purely for performance. It's all about the benefits that it gives the players. Um, whereas the Amiga is more about how long the ball is going to last and how much use you can get from it as a team. Gilbert balls are seen as the best because they deliver a huge level of performance at every level of the game. So whether you're playing as an elite uh, athlete at, at the pinnacle of the game in Rugby World Cups or whether you're playing once or twice a season for your local side, there's a ball that's suitable for you and it's been designed for you, it's designed for you to play rugby your way.